Hello, my little woolies. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to knit the classic fisherman's rib stitch. Some weeks ago, we learned how to knit the half fisherman's rib, or also called shaker stitch. This one is the classic version. It's a really stretchy and spongy stitch, great for knitting women's and men's scarves, cowls, and jumpers. It doesn't curl and it's reversible, identical on both sides. Today you're going to learn how many stitches to cast on for symmetry and how to bind it up properly. So let's get started. We need to cast on an odd number of stitches that will include two edge stitches the first and the last one. So let's cast on 11. Or 13. Okay. So the edge stitches, the first and the last one, will be knitted on each row. Always. So we start with net one, the edge stitch, and this is a setup row or row number zero. It won't be repeated again, and it is the repeat is net one, purl one. This is it. Net one, purl one. Remember, you have the written pattern below this video on the description box. You will find a link to my website, sewwilly.net. So, net one, purl one. Net one, purl one. Net one, purl one. When there are only two stitches left, we are going to net one and net the last one, the edge stitch. But only on this first row, we're going to knit it through the back loop. So we don't have a huge loop there. That was the setup row. First row. We start with the edge stitch, it's a net, and now when we see the bump, we know we have to purl. When we see the V, we know we have to knit, but we're going to knit here into the stitch from the row below. So, first row. Pour one, knit one, not here as usual, but here, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below, and knit. That's the repeat. Pour one, knit one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below, and repeat. When there are only two stitches left, we purl one and knit the last. That was row one. Row two. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and now comes the repeat. Here you can see the V. So when knit one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below, and purl one, 
and repeat. Next one. For one. Next one. Below. For one. Next one. Below. For one. Next one. Below. For one. When there are only two stitches left, we net one, drop the row below, and net the last, the edge stitch. And that's it. These two rows will be repeated until you reach the desired length. When finished, bind off after a row two. And this is the right side of the work. We're going to knit one, knit the next, and pass the stitch over. And now, when knit one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below, and pass the stitch over. Knit, pass over, knit, Inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below. And pass over. When you see the bump, just knit as usual. When you see the V, knit one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below. And pass over. And repeat. Ending with knit one as usual, pass the stitch over, and knit the last one and pass the stitch over. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and happy knitting.